John Dobus here with Kevin Kennedy, editor of several Cool Cat themed reports. Starting out with what? Explosive small cap growth stock report, which you, you kind of did, made your chops there, right? made your bones on that one, and then uh, Cool Cat ETF report, and you've got a third one that, can, uh, that deals with usually large cap market leading stocks, is that right? Right, yeah, Cool Cat uh, stock market uh, momentum leaders report. It basically uh, covers the stocks that are a little bit bigger than the, uh, the small caps, uh, over two billion market cap. Still looking kind of the small end of that frame. It's like uh, the mids then, right? Like yeah, a, well, small to mid, depending on what you know, everybody large caps seems to have their own little uh, definition. Two to 10 I consider mid cap. Yeah, yes. okay, so let's call mid -caps. them mid caps. And I, I basically kind of fish in the smaller end of that C. And uh, uh, that's one portfolio in that report. And then I, uh, I also track the NASDAQ 100 stocks. Now, are you a, just a, you're not just a technical guy. I mean, you, you, you certainly looked at a lot of charts with, the, uh, with those small caps back in the early part of the OOs. Is this a fundamental analysis driven kind of thing or is this also technicals and uh, I, start, I, I start with the technicals. Okay. It's like I, I got to see the technicals line up where I want, you know, and basically again I'm looking for, you know, something that, that's hit new high ground. It's, you know, it has a, a decent chart, is, uh, you know, off the bottom, off the lows. I'm not looking to, you know, to, to, uh, to pick off the bottom. Um, so I need some strength and I like to see a little pullback off that strength, you know, and, and not, a, not something that, you know, bottomed out three years ago or five years ago, you know, but ideally something that's kind of kind of been in the tank, like even like a Tesla, Tesla would be a good example. It was when it was below 200 bucks, right? Yeah, I mean, there you go. Now again, you know, this is probably, you know, just had a recent pullback, might be a good spot for Tesla here. It's still, what, a two, 250s, 260s, yeah, something, something like that? Yeah, something like that, exactly. What else is uh, in, in there? Tesla's a, obviously a hot stock, but. Right, right. Uh, well, uh, you know, we're talking about biotech being hot, and obviously, you know, the NASDAQ biotech index being up 700% off its bottom That's in yeah. seven years, and, you know, 30% every year for the last uh, four. Um, so I got Lex, uh, Lexion Pharmaceuticals sure. out of that batch. Uh, you know, again, it's it's not your typical uh, small cap. Uh, it's not a small you know, cap at all. Will no, it go? It's, it's, like, it's forty billion uh, yeah. market cap, and uh, you know, got uh, uh, you know, they're like six dollars in earnings they're supposed right. to make next year, and you know, two billion in sales, and so you know, it's a. It's obviously, uh, and it had a nice little pullback recently. Pulled back to about 150, and now it's over 200 again. So you kind of like the, uh, you're sort of a uh, William O'Neill in the sky sort of a guy, right? You, yeah. You can I mean, slimmer, more or less, right? Yeah, I, I'm heavily influenced by his ideas, but then I kind of try to you know, take them in a different direction a little bit. I mean, I, I wasn't just accepting what he said at face value, but I, you know, I, again, I'm looking at what goes up and what it, what it looks but like. But you like pullbacks to the 50 day average, right? You're into yes. that. And, that's still you know longer term trend. Uh, how about the overall market? Can you apply some of the cool cat rules to you know SPY and stuff like that? The Boy, sure. And 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 again, we have the ETF report where we do that. But um, uh, you know, and, and obviously the stuff that's hot uh, recently in our ETF universe would be like China and uh, biotech, all yeah, those yeah. indexes. So sure, you can you know six months uh, you know uh, six month six month gain. Um, you know, that's what you're looking at in terms of momentum. Back that's in October of, of, of 2014, you know, we were down below the 200-day average. And then just in June, early July, down below the 200-day average again uh, on the S&P. Did that freak you out? Did it make you want to, you know, think, re reconsider your bullish uh, idea on the overall market? Well, you know, again, it depends, I think, on your time frame. If you're real, real short term, then, you know, hey, if it's down for three weeks, you're kind of getting freaked out. But if you're, you know, looking at it in a little more, uh, you know, those are actually, I mean, October, boy, some some great opportunities in stocks that uh, met my screens, you know, buying in that that time frame. If, Certainly. You know, that's the time to be aggressive. Because though, you know, this, in July or June, and also here, uh, way, way back in October, that 200 day average was a springboard. And it, yes. and it hit that, and maybe, you know, a little bit below it, then bang. What I like to do is, is find a stock that, you know, again, makes a new high, pulls back, and then it goes up for a week, you know? And so, I, now I've got a natural, you know, stop below that, and, uh, you know, I, hey, I may get whipsawed, but it's a, it's a good buying opportunity. Nice trading ideas. Kevin Kennedy, 